Do you think my younger brother was lucky to have me? I would think so. Do you think uh, Arav is lucky to have Atav? How about you be the judge? Hi, welcome to Grow With Kids, where we talk about raising children and traveling with them. I'm your host, In this video, Rina. I'm going to talk to you about benefits of having a sibling around, especially benefits to the younger one. Monkey see, monkey do is what they say about kids, right? So baby have a tendency to watch younger ones they tend that's one thing I found like kids tend to more move towards gravitate towards other kids so my younger younger son gravitates towards his older brother and he copies and does it tenfold worse or more I don't know how you want to say it than Atar does so if Atar is screaming Arab would scream a lot more if Atharv is angry, Ada would be angrier a lot more. If Atharv decides to throw things, Ada would throw a lot harder and a lot more. So you had the whole thing. It was like, it seemed like a competition between the two. Younger kids watch their olders, older siblings running around roaming and doing things. So they have a tendency to learn to move a lot faster. So I don't, uh, I don't know if you've noticed that your older son, might, uh, your older child might have learned to walk at the age of 13 months, while your younger child might have learned to walk when he was eight months or she was seven months. So because that's simply because they're watching the older one, learning, uh, moving around and everything, and they pick that up. If this video is providing any value, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be alerted of videos posted twice every week. Don't ever have to worry about your baby not getting enough attention, your younger one not getting enough attention. The older one only had the parents as the ones that were giving him attention. The younger one has the parents plus the older siblings. So they have a lot more people going towards them and giving them attention. And because your older sibling is still a child as well, they'll gravitate towards the baby. So in the beginning, because the baby really didn't do much other than cry and drink milk and sleep, my son didn't really gravitate towards out of. But as he started moving, oh, he would be there. So when he started crawling around, he would play with him. He would like give him things or like maybe do a game put it a little further to see if he'd catch it, if he'd be able to go and grab it and start giving him stuff that he could put in his mouth and make it a competition or make it a game. So they would actually start playing together and making everything fun and exciting. And babies love that. So do a kid, so do younger kids. So there's a learning thing right there happening and the baby's getting the full attention of another ba another child. What more can a baby ask for? He has someone to play with. So they don't really need to worry about us giving him, giving them attention. They have a younger child giving them attention. Yeah. One good thing that I've noticed is that my younger one has a lot more patience and i have a i have a feeling it's because of the older one because you have to first take care of the older needs older one's needs and then get to the baby i think he needs that to be able to handle the older one as well because you're gonna get the older one telling him off or screaming and shouting at him calling him names everything that you could find two kids fighting over you'll get that between the two siblings. So I think the younger ones already learn patience and to just stay calm in any environment simply because they, they're learning that from the older one. The older one never got that because they already used to get everything. 
they, not, they didn't need to wait for anything and because you were inexperienced so you were scared that you would do something wrong with the older one but the younger one you're like oh yeah the older one got over it so the younger one you don't have to worry about him so like for example uh, put the child down on the floor it's like oh he's not gonna get any germs and just finish up all of that and if he's uh, crying a lot oh he needs to learn how to cry rather than just running after him what's wrong what's wrong he's crying so much so little things like that with the older with the younger one you don't worry about that because you've already had that experience with the older one so you know that nothing's gonna happen to him as long as you obviously stay a little safe but nothing's gonna happen to him and he'll be totally fine where sometimes I'm not able to understand what Adap wants and then you would hear Atar scream from the other room, Adap wants this, he's asking for this, or he means this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> is that, then you ask Adap, is that what you mean? He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I didn't know that. So we have a translator. It's like their own baby language, their own kid language. They tend to know exactly what they want. I think Atar might not want the baby crying, or he might not want you paying so much attention to the baby. I don't know. But... Uh, you have the general translator. Arthur will say exactly what Arab wants. No worries. That's exactly what he wants. And you give it and it's, it's all good and happy. You just want to make sure that he doesn't translate later on in life either because then that won't be good for either of them. <laughs> My older child learned his ABCs and Montessori's a lot faster, but my younger child learned how to speak a lot faster. He learned a lot of other big words a lot faster. He learned how to use the video games or the computer a lot faster. And he's able to tolerate a lot more of the movies, especially movies that have dinosaurs and crocodiles and zombies in them, than my older child was at that age. And that's simply because of the older child. The, so what I've noticed is that the younger one has to kind of like compromise and adapt to that environment. So now another thing I've noticed is that um, when Atarv and Arav, like Atarv wants to watch Pink Panther, Arav wants to watch Peppa Pig. There's this competition between them. I'm like, you guys decide what you want and I'll put it on. I just leave it at them. So. If Arav's in a, a non-competitive mood, if Atar goes, Arav, can we watch Pink Panther? This uh, We like the golf one. It's really, really good. Arav will say, oh, okay, we'll watch Pink Panther. And Pink Panther it is. And I've noticed that quite often, that Arav will just go with it, go with what Atar wants. And he's totally fine with it. It comes to the places that we want to go on the weekend or what to do in the evenings for fun and what shows to watch. And he would compromise a lot more than Atar would and would allow it. So that's one thing I've noticed, the difference between Atar and Arav, where Arav would be more compromising than Atar would. But I've also noticed that Arav is lear learning a lot of like the street smartness as well as a lot of the other stuff a lot quicker than Atharv had been. He, he did not learn his ABCs and 1-2-3s as fast. When, they, when they're when they watching the other kids, they're more active, they're playing more, they're, they're, they have so much energy, they're always running around, they're loud, they're boisterous, everything. They're like really out there, something exciting, something different, something just amazing to them and hence why they would follow them and their lead and that is why they would learn a lot faster that way my younger one tends to copy my older one a lot Arav tends to copy Atharv in pretty much everything but he will do it a lot more a lot better a lot bigger a lot more drama uh, in a dram dramatic way so if Atharv is screaming Arav would scream a lot, a lot louder. 
if other decides that he wants to kick one of us, Arif will punch and kick a lot harder. Little ones have a lot bigger imagination simply because they're watching the older one and they're pretty much copying what the older one's doing. When, uh, when I see the little one playing with his little, little um, toys, when he's playing with his little toys, he's like saying a lot of the things that are happening in the house. So one of them would be Mama, the other one would be Atta, the other one would be Papa, and then they would just play around with, play, they would, he would basically reenact everything that's happened in the house that he found interesting. Their imagination, them make believing things, starts a lot sooner, simply because they have an older sibling that they could play with and they could use that imagination with. And lastly, your younger child has a lot more fun than your older child did. Why? The one thing I've seen a difference between the two is how quickly my younger one is learning just by watching the older one. I'm also realizing my older one has less patience than my younger one. My older one has a higher temper than my younger one, but my younger one is more violent than my older one. My older one gets scared a lot quicker about getting in trouble. My younger one doesn't care. He's like, no, you're not going to put me in time out. You're not going to get upset with me because you're going to love me <laughs> no matter what. And that's what I think he thinks. So, and he does everything. I hope this video was useful. If you have any comments or questions, don't forget to write them down in the comment section. If you would like to be part of this community, you're always welcome. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that we could meet every week and talk about kids. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.